All right, all right. There are so many jailbreaks out there. Which one is for my device? Which jailbreak should I use? Basically, which jailbreak is compatible with my device? I know many of you guys are asking this question. So in this video, I'm gonna be addressing which jailbreak you should use for your device if you can jailbreak. So what's up guys, the tech spot here. I wanted to consolidate this information in one video for you guys because I get so many questions on whether, hey, can I jailbreak my device on this firmware and this is my device well just listen closely to this video and you will find out which jailbreak to use on your device and get jailbroken in no time all right so first off we have the uncovered jailbreak okay this is the new jailbreak that was released and basically it now covers even older devices as well instead of just newer devices so pwn to own the developer of the jailbreak did tweet out this he said hashtag uncover version 4.0 2.0 is now out. Fixed for system services on A12 through A13, iOS 13.0 through 13.3 support for A8 through A11 and more. So this is the uncovered jailbreak. Now, first off, for this jailbreak, if you go into settings general and then about for this jailbreak uncover, you do have to be on iOS 13 all the way up to iOS 13.3. Anything in between that will work. If you're on iOS 13.0, that'll work. If you're on iOS 13.3, that'll work. And again, anything in between. So for example, if you are on iOS 13.1, this jailbreak will support that. If you're on iOS 13.2, again, that is in between iOS with 13.0 and 13.3 so yes that will work all right so the uncovered jailbreak again it supports anywhere from ios 13.0 all the way up to 13.3 so that is the firmware or software of ios that the jailbreak is compatible with now here's the device support list so this uncovered jailbreak is compatible with devices that have the a8 processor all the way up to a13 processor okay so again anything in between that as well so again Guys, the complete device support list for the uncovered jailbreak will be down below in the description. So you can just go to glimpse over it and see if your device is supported. And again, it has to be on iOS 13.0 through 13.3 on that device as well. But although I will have the devices that are supported by the uncovered jailbreak listed down below in the description, I'm still going to mention over here on video the iPhones that are supported, which are the iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10, iPhone 10S, iPhone 10S Max, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now again, this will also support some iPads. So again, use that list in the description to see if your device is compatible with the uncovered jailbreak. Now the uncovered jailbreak does not, I repeat, the uncovered jailbreak does not require a computer. All you have to do is download an app on your device called the uncovered jailbreak. You open the app and you tap on jailbreak. I will have my full jailbreak guide for the uncovered jailbreak linked down below in the description or you can just go ahead and click on it on my channel because it's a fairly new video. Now before you're going to click on that video, this uncovered jailbreak is semi untethered. Well, what does semi untethered mean? It means that once you jailbreak with this uncovered jailbreak, you basically have all your tweaks and all your nifty little things running on a jailbreak, right? But once your device dies, okay, it dies completely or your battery dies, okay, you turn it off off, you turn it back on, your phone will work like stock iOS, like as if your jailbreak is not even there, but you will still have Cydia. But once you tap on Cydia or any jailbreak app, it'll just go and open up and then just crash. This is because every time you turn off or reboot your device and turn it back on, your jailbreak becomes disabled. Now to re-enable the jailbreak, you do have to rerun the jailbreak by tapping on the app again and tapping on jailbreak once again. It's basically like redoing the jailbreak except now their device is already jailbroken, the process will go by a lot quicker. Okay guys, so that is the uncovered jailbreak. Again, it supports iOS 13 all the way up to iOS 13.3. Now, what if you're on the newest version of iOS, let's say iOS 13.3, 
0.1. Okay, that does break the Joe break because again, it's iOS 13.3. 0.1 which is above iOS 13.3. So Apple basically patched and blocked the jailbreak in the new iOS update. So that's why you can't really jailbreak using Uncover unless you are on one of these older devices, okay? Now by these older devices, I mean the iPhone 5S all the way up to the iPhone 10. So again, for this check rain jailbreak, the entire device support list will be down below in the description as well. So you can glimpse over that and see if your device is supported by the check rain jailbreak. And here's the cool part about the check rain jailbreak. If your device is supported by the check rain jailbreak, you can basically jailbreak on any iOS version that you are on, including the newest iOS 13.3.1 and any future updates if Apple does release them. All they have to do is update the jailbreak and soon your device will be compatible with the check rain jailbreak on that newer iOS version as well. So yeah, the check rain jailbreak supports these older devices, the iPhone 5S, all the way up to the iPhone 10 and it supports basically any version of iOS that is above iOS 12.3. So as long as you're above iOS 12.3, this check range jailbreak will work even on the newest versions of iOS like iOS 13.3.1 and above. Now, a disadvantage of the check range jailbreak is that you do need a computer to jailbreak with the check range jailbreak. And yes, right now the check rate jailbreak is only available for Mac computers right now. So you will need a Mac computer unless you wanna do a lot more steps to get it working. It's kind of a like workaround we could use. We basically install like Linux and stuff like that uh, if you want. In the future, I will be making a video on a Windows computer. Just note that it's a lot more steps and it's so much more easy on a Mac computer. So again, my full check rate tutorial on Mac will be linked down below in the description. I have still yet to make my Windows tutorial, which again, requires more steps. So if you have an older device that you want to jailbreak on a newer iOS version, let's say you're on iOS 13.3.1, if you have access to a Mac, please use that Mac instead of Windows to jailbreak using Check Rain because again, on Mac, it's so much more easy. Now, kind of like with the uncovered jailbreak, the Check Rain jailbreak is semi-tethered. Not semi-untethered, but semi-tethered. Well, what does semi-tethered mean? Well, semi-tethered is like semi-untethered, except this time, every time you wanna re-enable your jailbreak, you do have to plug it back into the computer and then gonna rerun the jailbreak from there. There's no app, right? So you have to have a computer to basically re-enable the jailbreak, okay? That is the check rain jailbreak, okay? It supports any version of iOS, basically on these older devices, but it requires a computer to jailbreak. Okay, so the uncovered jailbreak and the check rain jailbreak have both their pros and cons. So based on the information I provide you guys in this video, and again, use the description to see all the details of supported devices and all that good stuff, you can decide which jailbreak you should use and which one you want to use if you have multiple choices I could choose from. Now, in regards to my own opinion, if you have the ability to jailbreak with both check rain or uncover, I would personally urge you to jailbreak with uncover because it does not rely on a computer to jailbreak, okay? All you have to do is open the app, tap on jailbreak, and then every time you have to re-enable your jailbreak after turning your device off and then back on, all you have to do is open the app again and run jailbreak again. You do not have to plug in your device to your computer at all. But if you don't have the luxury of jailbreaking with the uncovered jailbreak, let's say you have an older device but it's running a newer version of iOS that is not supported by the uncovered jailbreak, then yeah, go ahead and buy by all means, use the check rain jailbreak, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys understand what jailbreak to use for your device and if you can jailbreak the C-Text bot and later later.